Well, this week, stonemasons have arrived and they started building the wall in the hole in the wall wall. However, that wasn't what I expected to happen. And I filmed what I was expecting to happen yesterday. So I'll just let you in on that now. I'm here early this morning. Can't say I slept too much last night. This is a big day. This is the day we're going to try and straighten this wall behind me. Uh, Dan went to Denmark yesterday. <laughs> and we're just going to have to wait and see what's going to happen because Shisto guys are going to come, the stonemasons, not sure how many. Um, and they're confident they can do it, so I'm confident in them. So this is the clay that's going to be used for the mix to hold the stones together. They've done really well getting the colour right. Para mim é, é o seguinte. Okay, so that mix has been rejected. Colors not good enough. So we we'll have to wait and see what happens next. It's not going to be wasted. Just going to use it as the base layer here. So it's turned out that the guys aren't going to fix the wall today. So I guess there'll be another sleepless night when I don't know. But I have to say, it's fabulous to see the materials that we have on the land being reused and put back into the house. Yeah, safety glasses, because I want to get some close-ups of chopping, um, chipping away at the stones. And do value my eyes. I'm putting this in for good luck in the future. <laughs> Mas destas não há lá, ou... Oh. 
Vai bom? Muito bom. Muito bonita. Tem que ser, né? Well, that's the queue for lunch. Almost. Almost, <laughs> almost. And uh, I'm going to go and get working on the next video.
this clay has been dug from a local area. It's still got some little roots in it that are filtered out as they go and the odd little stone. But it's pretty close to the colour of clay that we've already had. So I'll show you those in a second. So these are the different colours of clay I've found. This is the new one and which is similar to another one that I can't kind of break up. It's a bit hard and this color and this color and the thing about them is they're a completely different color when they're mixed with water and the final color is completely different so i'm going to mix those just to show you what it looks like right i forgot to turn the camera on when i was mixing but here you go that's the yellow and this is that kind of orangey shade and this is a red now this red is actually really red when it dries again and I'll show you what that looks like in situ. It is really important to choose these colors well. So I'm absolutely thrilled. So this is just pure clay and water. And it's put at the front. So it is, there's a cement mix in behind that bedding in the rocks, but this is all at the front. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, and how much have they done in a day? So we're on the morning of the second day and you can see it's right up to the veranda level. So I just sat here yesterday watching the guys for four hours. I barely moved up this seat. Just looking over that way. Now I'm looking at it and then there's no work to see because we're right up to the next level. Hmm. Eles estão lá é para isso, é para isso, não é? things I absolutely love about stonemasons and other craftspeople are that they all have their own unique style. So as you know stonemasons are few and far between and the rocks here are slightly different in style but they still look wonderful and there's that beautiful honesty then between what was original and what's been replaced. And I really like that. I'm not trying to hide or pretend that it's original. Now that we're moved up to shaping the doors and the windows, it's a slower process. Each stone has to be shaped on two sides.
a ver cá de tudo. Olha lá. Here at the door you can see all these rocks that have been cut with the machine have now been picked so that they look like the way the old rocks were done. Danielle, you have part two? Danielle, Inglaterra, is the semana. See, see. Today we've got just uh, Jose and Antonio on site and as I said before the stonemasons would be finishing off the windows so they were stabilised and now they're going to be finished. Uh, it's going beautifully. We've got all the scaffolding up on the front of the house and yeah so I don't really I can't really get in close because it's windy today and I can't send up the drone and also i don't really want to get in the way when men are working at such heights so that's really what's happening it's more of the same a lot of rock chiseling and measuring and shaping and just continuing on putting the mud between the stones if you're wondering about pointing that's something you might be curious about because these rocks this style of work doesn't get pointed. So that's the original style here. And it's basically just clay in between the, clay's just put in between the stones. There's no finishing things off. And that is the traditional style of these buildings. Uh, it's something you don't even think about until you start really, really examining uh, different types of build. And in this area, we've got granite, schisto and river rock. And another thing I wanted to show you is these rocks. But these rocks, they are massive. Some context. It's 70 centimeters at that side and 28 this way so you can see how it's been picked this side has just been chiseled off probably because it was bulging or something some of the picks are vertical some are horizontal and i can only think 
that they were lifted before with donkeys and pulleys and mules and some sort of block and tackle system with wood. Who knows? I don't really know. I wasn't around then and neither were the guys. Um, I will try and ask them. So I've got a big update. So I'll go over here and I'll tell you about that. So we're back in front of the wall that was stabilized and not sure if I said it earlier, but I was, we had the whole run up to taking the push or the pull or whatever was going to be done. Well, anyway, the update is none of that's going to happen now. Um, this wall isn't, none of the walls, the, the stone walls are load bearing. That's why we've got all the pillars inside the house and the steel structure that will be coming and that's what the roof is going to be supported on. So this wall is, well, all of the stone walls are going to have a concrete ring beam on them to secure them. Stonemasons have had a much better look at the wall. The wall is sound, but it's mostly aesthetics that makes it look that it's not straight. Uh, the wall is sound, the engineers and the stonemasons are happier to leave it as it is and we're happier as well. So that's the big update. I can breathe again. So this hole over here is called a put log. So it was literally where they put the logs to build up the floors back in the olden days. So they would have used logs as a type of frame that, to set up a, a type of scaffolding that they could climb up and move and get up the building higher and higher. Behind me, Antonio has taken one of the old chestnut beams from the pile and brought it back in and is just milling it into the shape for another uh, lintel. So we're we're running tight on getting big enough lintels because they have to be a particular size. We're actually taking off now the, the little bit of worm that's on the outside. It's pure powder, but it doesn't go any way through the wood at all. Quite outstanding is the quality of this chestnut. Considering it's been here, this is one of the original beams in the oldest part of the house. So it's done fantastically. build that up to 90 centimeters which I think is the counter and standard countertop for uh, a kitchen and then maybe we'll put some shelves we'll rescue some more of the old um, wood from around the house maybe use those as shelves or something like that I hope that's going to be nice anyway Dan knows nothing about this. <laughs> That's the way it goes. When you're not here, you miss it. Near the end of the day. And Jose's just scooping up the last of the clay called the barrow. Bar barrow. 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 One of those difficult words. <laughs> I think today was one of my favorite days on site. It's just so calm and quiet, aside from the chainsaw. Uh, but it's just lovely seeing the work.
can see that it's a different color than the others and that's because it's now cleaned. However, it will age and weather beautifully eventually. Here we are, the door from the veranda into the kitchen. It's so, it just feels so warm and inviting. And I can just picture opening the kitchen doors in the morning, coming out onto the veranda and looking at that view there. Look at it. But it's you will just... be wearing some clothes. Well, I might not be. No. <laughs> no there's no one around oh, to see. Oh no, yeah. So this is the view we have now. 10 times better than when we had the hole in the wall and 100 times better than it was concrete block. It's just absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? Well, that's Jose and Antonio gone for some time now. The two stonemasons have left and they will be back once the construction of the house is complete and they can carry on. But until then, let's just keep enjoying the stonework.